Hey everyone, so I have a get ready with me video for you and it's a bit of a mix of kind of like skincare and a talk through of the makeup that I've been wearing lately. Um, a lot of you in my last video really liked my makeup look, thank you very much. And lots of you on social media have been giving me like um, compliments about my skin so I thought I'd do a video like this and share with you guys what I've been using and my routine and just you know the minimal makeup that I've been using because I've been loving minimal makeup and natural looking makeup I feel like more of myself um, and I'm really just reserving like the really heavy makeup for like going out to real like big events or if I really feel like going all the way but this is a makeup look that you know if you're going to school you're going to work um, or if you want to like cut down on your makeup um, bits and bobs and products you can probably you know try and it's very simple I've used very simple products and products that anyone can get their hands on I'll leave links down below so you can grab those and um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it I'm gonna be sharing with you guys this product called the ultimate skin spa as well as my La Mer favorites so the Ultimate Skin Spa is a brush system and it's a good one to use to enhance your skincare routine. And when I feel like my skin needs a good pamper, I reach for it. It comes with three different brushes. The first is a silicon brush and this is really for massaging the face. And one thing I love about the brush is that it has two speeds, a kind of like a slow speed and a faster speed. And it really does depend on how intense you want the treatment. In the system, there's a daily cleansing brush that you can use every day because it's really soft. And then there's also an exfoliating brush that you can use when you really want to exfoliate your skin. I'm going to be taking you through my whole routine and this is step one, the cleansing step. First, I take my cleanser and this is the La Mer cleanser and I just pop it onto the brush with the daily cleansing brush head. And then I just massage my skin in circular motions. I really get in there because it really does help the cleanser do the work a lot more. Like step two is the exfoliating step. I'm taking my cleansing wash and the exfoliating brush head. The bristles on this one is better for exfoliating and so what I do is I just wet the brush and then I apply my facial wash onto the brush and I wet my face and then I use the brush just to wash my face again in circular motions all over the face. I rinse and now I'm ready for step three which is the toning step taking my toner and a cotton pad just apply that all over it I'm just going to use this just to wipe the face and this removes all of the excess product and dirt that's left on the skin step four is the moisturizing step my favorite I'm taking my moisturizer I'm just going to take a very small amount of this using the spatula that comes with it and then I'm going to warm this up in my hands and then I'm just going to dab that onto my skin. I dab the moisturizer on because it doesn't tug the skin and just gives a really nice kind of feeling to the skin. And that's it. So I'm going to be using my sleek eyebrow pencil. I love this one because it's really cheap and it comes with a spoolie on the end and also comes with the actual eyebrow pencil. And the color that I'm using is dark. And it's so good just to draw the eyebrows in and just fill in the areas that need filling in. Um, I'm going to start off with the spoolie and I'm going to just brush that through just to make everything nice and neat. And then I'm going to take the other side and then I'm just going to draw in like the sparse areas like here and here and just define the brow a little bit more. I'm going to use this small mirror and then I'm going to do it so you can see. Okay, I'm going to take the, the pencil. And then I'm just drawing that in. Can you see how I'm just like filling in the sparse areas and giving myself you know, a really nice defined brow? I always like starting off with the brows because I feel like the brows really do shape the face. It's kind of like your frame for like all the makeup to go on after. And I'm really liking the fuller look of my brows these days. I'm going to fill this side in. Okay. This is my next favorite brow product. It's also by Sleek and is uh, also in dark. It's like a, a brow gel and it's brown. So of course it's in dark. And it just adds like a really tiny color to the brows and just, you know, fills in more areas that, you know, the pencil doesn't get to. So I'm doing it on the side. 
keeps all the brows the brow hairs in like place as well so it doesn't like go all over the place I'm gonna take my concealer and this one's NARS and it's the radiant creamy concealer in medium dark or caramel and I'm gonna be using a brush and this brush is a smoky liner brush by Zoeva but I love using this to conceal under my brows and I take the concealer and then I just you know take a tiny bit with my brush from the actual wand itself and then I'm just going to use this to clean up underneath the eyebrows so I'm just going to use this to clean it up as you can see there you go and then I'm going to take this brush this is a real techniques I don't know which kind of brush it is. It's one of those, oh, the base eyeshadow brush, but I really like using this for blending because it's really good at blending, especially blending concealer. I'm just going to use that and just blend the concealer in. So you can see the difference between the brows. This one looks really nice and defined and highlighted, and this one clearly needs a bit more cleaning up. And I'm going to do what I did on here to this, and I'll be right back. Listen, the way that my new growth is just looking like something. <laughs> So I'm now going to be taking my concealer. This is the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC and it's in NW40 and the reason why I've gone for a warm colour even though I'm a cool shade is because I'm going to use this to actually correct the problem areas like you know around my mouth is slightly uh, green so I'll wax that area and thread it and then underneath my um, eye so if you have like dark circles in the eye correcting is very very good because it helps to just create a base for any other thing that goes on afterwards. I'm going to take this brush, it's by Real Techniques and this is the pointed foundation brush. This is a really good brush to use because it's really like, really, it says what it does on the tin. It's really precise. Uh, and I'm going to scrape a tiny bit of the concealer. I like scraping the concealer um, out of the pot and then like placing it onto the back of my hand. And then I take the concealer from there and apply it to my face just because I don't really like dipping the brush into the the concealer itself just to prevent why am I so clumsy <laughs> just prevent like bacteria going in, in it and stuff so that's why I clean this bit afterwards and then I, I use it just to take it so I'm going to take the um, concealer on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to play this, place this on the like the problem areas which is like I said above my mouth and then that's just going to even out the whole like face and that's even without even applying any foundation so as you can see, I'm just going to pop that on there like that. And then I'm going to use my finger and the ring finger because that's the least pressure. But then it gets it nice and blended. And I'm just going to like pat that in. And it literally, as you can see, it's already corrected that area. I'm going to take more of the concealer from the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go underneath my eye. As you can see, there's a tiny bit of discoloration down there. I haven't been sleeping a whole bunch, but I'm planning on changing that. I need my beauty sleep. If I don't sleep, I can get grumpy. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, so as you see, I've just popped a tiny bit, not too much, just on the area that's like discolored. And then I'm taking my ring finger and I'm just blending all of that in. As you can see, there's a tiny difference between this one and this one, right? And take a bit more of that and place it on the other side. All right. I'm going to take my concealer. Now this one is actually my skin tone. This is NC45. It's the same concealer as the, uh, as the one I used to correct. And this is the Studio Fish, Studio Fish, <laughs> Studio Finish concealer. And then I'm going to use this and then apply it to like the areas like the spots and the blemishes on my face and then I'll use my finger again and just blend it it's very very simple so there we've got one there <laughs> oh, look. it's like connect the dots <laughs> right okay there's one there there's one there there and there so on that side I have all of these blemishes I'm going to take my concealer again. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS and it's the shade Caramel. And then I'm going to um, pop this on my eye just to highlight that area. 
like a leaf. I'm not going to do too much with this because I just want it to brighten up that area. And I'm taking my brush again, the one I used to blend my eyebrows. And I'm just going to use that to blend the shine of it. I mean, you can see it now. <laughs> You can see it's kind of brightening the area really nicely. I'm going to blend this side in. So I'm going to be using my powder. This is the Makeup uh, Forever powder. It's a pro finish powder. And my shade is 168. And this is going to just powder the whole skin and then give it like a flawless finish without actually having to put too much on as you can see I've avoided putting too much product on my forehead just because I feel like the skin on the forehead is cool so we don't need to put too many things on there I'm going to be bronzing my face using the Pro Longwear powder and this is a couple of shades darker than my skin tone and this is dark deep and I'm just using this brush and it's by Makeup Addiction. This was actually sent to me by Jenny, another YouTuber. She has a Makeup Addiction uh, collection which I've been using and I've been meaning to share with you guys in the video. Um, I'll see if I can get some more info up and I'll put it in, in the description box. But this is one of the brushes that she sent me. Thank you, Jenny. I'm just going to put that in there. And then I'm just going to use this to contour very lightly and add a bit of like dimension. So I'm going to mix in like a tiny bit of my actual powder and the bronzer and I'm just going to use this like on my, uh, eye, my eyeshadow. I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow on my eyelid just so we're all in the same family of um, colour. And I'm going to be using my favourite mascara of this moment and this is the Givenchy mascara. It's called, what's it called? Noir Couture and this is the black velvet one. It's really good. It really does, you know, add length to the lashes and volumizes it really, really well. So it's awesome. So that's the mascara bit done. I'm now going to go to the lips, and I've been loving using this uh, lip pencil by NYX, and it's called Urban Cafe. It's one of the really, really nice ones, and it's really, really good. I'm gonna just apply it to my lips. I'm just going to blend the lip liner in and I'm taking my favourite lip gloss at the moment, it's called Lust by MAC, I love it because it's very natural, I'm just going to put this on the centre of the lip, this is a gloss up. And that's it, that's the look. So that's it for my video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon, bye!